So welcome to class everybody, I'm Shavita and today's class is going to be a flow class with balance. So we're going to create balance in our bodies as well as in our minds and hopefully outside in our worlds. So let's start the class today in child's pose. So your knees are wide, toes are touching and you're surrendering on the mat. So have your arms nice and long. Surrender on the mat and just focus on your breath, taking a nice big exhale for the count of three, two, one, inhale for the count of three, two, one. Surrendering on the mat, surrendering to the present moment, connecting with your breath. This is your time for you to take for your self-care practice today. To help you connect with what's going on with your body, to help you still the mind, and to listen to those whispers of your body. Your body is trying to communicate with you always, and if we stay still enough, if we listen deeply enough, we will hear what it's trying to tell us. And if something external is not serving you, your body's going to respond back to it. With little aches and pains, if you're overworking, you'll start getting run down, a little cold here and there, start tapping on your shoulder. And if we don't listen, it'll start knocking. And if we still don't listen, it'll just slap you down. So this is where the connection time with your body makes a big difference. And I have been slapped down a couple of times when I'm not listening. So, inhale, look up. Exhale, pulling the belly button, creating length in your spine. Inhale, look up. And as we age, as we're on this planet for a few more years, our bodies start shrinking. Gravity starts pulling us down. So what we're doing in yoga and Pilates, we're creating length. We're creating space in between each one of our vertebras. So our central nervous system can flow. That's it, beautiful, neutralize the spine. Shoulder to hip. And chin. And again, we're moving nice and slowly, nothing fast. And remember, we're just waking up the body. And you know, even close your eyes if you want to. And then we're gonna melt our hearts down. Melting our hearts down, your buttocks is up, your chin on the mat if you can. Surrendering, upper back's opening up. Stay connected to your breath. And then bring your palms together. Bend the elbows, bring the hands behind your head and slightly lean back. And then gently release. Coming up onto all fours, pull your belly button in. Tuck the toes under, lift up those knees. And gently release. And then we're gonna shrug our chest down and lift up. So we're doing this kind of like this sort of push up, but we're not pushing down with our elbows. We're just pushing down and up and down and up and then holding it there tucking the toes lifting those knees up and then we're going to come into downward facing dog remember we're moving with awareness every part of our movement we are aware with we're not just going on autopilot here we are moving with awareness every little stretch every little breath is conscious Bring your feet together, heels and toes, bend the knees, bring them quite low, and then take the knees over to the left and the hips over to the right. And change sides.
And one more time. And again. And back to center. We're going to lean forward onto our hands. Bend the knees. Come back up. Downward facing dog. Lean forward onto your hands. Bend the knees. Coming back up. Lean forward onto your hands. Bend the knees. Coming back up. Beautiful. Lean forward onto your hands. Step your right foot forward. Drop your left knee down. Bring your hands to the inside of your right foot. That's it. And then we're circling. Circling one way. Circling the other way. And then bring your hand to the outside of the right foot. Tuck the back toe under. Coming to downward facing dog. Lean forward onto your hands. Step the left foot forward to the outside of your left hand. Drop your right knee down and we're circling. Circling one way. Circling the other way. Opening up the hips. You might be sitting in chairs, sitting in a car. This is really going to help open up. Tuck the back toe under. Come back into downward facing dog. Lean forward or hand into your hands. Step your right foot forward. Drop your left knee down. Inhale, lift up your right hand. Release. Tuck the back toe under. Lift up. Extend your right leg. So stretching out the right hamstring. Bend the knee. And again for three, two, one. Frame the foot, kick back into downward facing dog. Breathe here. Lean forward onto your hand, step your left foot forward, drop your right knee down. Inhale, lift up your left hand. And then we're going to tuck the back toe under, lift it up, extend the front leg, toe pointing up if you want, bend the knee and extend for three, two, one, bend the leg, frame the foot, kick back into downward facing dog. You're doing so well. Lean forward onto your hands, step your right foot forward, left foot forward, tuck in the neck, inhale, lengthen the spine, exhale, tuck in the neck, inhale, lifting up, exhale, forward bend, tuck in the neck, inhale, lengthen the spine, exhale, tuck in the neck, Step your right leg back, left leg back, and you can bring your knees down, lean slightly forward, keep your elbows close to your body, tricep push up, upward facing dog, relax your shoulders, downward facing dog, and breathe, breathing in, breathing out, breathing in, Breathing out, remember, with awareness. Lean forward onto your hands. Step your right foot forward, left foot forward. Tuck in the neck. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, tuck in the neck. Inhale, lifting up to the ceiling. Exhale, forward bend. Tuck the neck in. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, tuck the neck in. Left leg back. Right leg back. You can have your knees down or you can come into a tricep push up. Knees up, upward facing dog. Relax your shoulders. Downward facing dog. Beautiful. Nice, long, deep breaths. In, nice, long, deep breaths out. Beautiful. 
Lean forward into your hands, step your left foot forward, right foot forward, tuck the neck in, inhale, lengthen the spine, exhale, tuck the neck in, inhale, lift up to the ceiling, exhale, forward bend, tuck in the neck, inhale, lengthen the spine, exhale, tuck in the neck, right leg back, left leg back, high plank, tricep push up. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Breathe here. Feel the length in your spine. Feel your shoulders opening up. Feel you become longer, taller. Creating space in your body. Lean forward onto your hands. Step your right foot forward. Left foot forward, tuck the neck in. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, tuck the neck in. Inhale, reach up to the ceiling. Exhale, forward bend. Stay with me. Tuck in the neck. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, tuck in the neck. Frame the foot, left leg back. Right leg back. High plank. Tricep push up. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Beautiful. Anytime you need to rest, rest up. Listen to your body. Every day is different depending on what you've had to eat, how much sleep you've had, and what's going on with your life. So remember to respect that space. Lean forward onto your hands, step your left foot forward. Right foot forward, inhale, lengthen, exhale, tuck the neck in, inhale, reach up to the ceiling. And this time we're going to swing the hands back, come into chair. Chair, we're sitting down in chair, pulling the belly button in, palms together, tuck in the neck, inhale, lengthen the spine, exhale, tuck in the neck, right leg back, pivot the back foot, and we're going to come into warrior. Breathe. Shoulders back, lean back slightly, palm facing up, reach forward, reverse the warrior for three, two, one, side angle, bring the hand up, three, two, one, touch down, right hand, left hand up for three, two, one. Frame the foot, kick that back foot in slightly, and then see if you can lift it up. And then if you want to, you can grab hold of one foot, the foot that's on the floor, with one hand, and then gently with the other hand, holding it. For three, two, one, and then stepping that foot forward, coming in, chair. Breathing in. Breathing out, breathing in, breathing out, hands together, tuck the neck in, inhale, lengthen the spine, exhale, tuck the neck in, left leg back, right leg back, high plank, tricep push up, upward facing dog, downward facing dog, beautiful. Breathing in, breathing out. Lean forward onto your hands, step your right foot forward. We're coming into warrior. Shoulders back, lean back slightly. Holding it for three, two, one. Reverse the warrior, palm facing up, reach forward. Come up, sink down for three, two, one elbow, side angle. Reach the hand over your head. For three, two, stay breathing. One, touch down. Lift the right hand up. For three, two, one. Bring both hands on the feet. Framing the front foot. Step the back foot forward and kick up. Kicking up. Now once you've got your balance, pull the belly button in, bring one hand up to your calf, 
other hand up to your calf, holding it for three, two, one. Gently step that foot forward and we're back into the chair, holding it for three, two, one. Palms together, forward bend, tuck in the neck. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, tuck in the neck. Frame the foot. Right leg back. Left leg back. High plank. Tricep push up. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Breathing in. Breathing out. Breathing in. Breathing out, leaning forward onto your hands. Step your left foot forward, pivot the back foot in warrior. Breathe, sink down deeper, holding your arms wide. Lean back slightly, lengthen your spine. Abs pulled in for three, two, one. Reverse it, palm facing up, reach forward first and then come back, creating space in your rib for three, Two, one, side angle. Reaching for three, two, one, touch down, right hand, left hand up for three, two, one. Frame the front foot, kick the back leg forward, and then when you're ready, lift up the leg. So the hands are about one foot ahead of you. Your belly's put in, pulled in, and then if you want to, you can grab hold of your ankle, lifting up, holding it for three, two, one, and stepping forward into chair. And don't worry if you come out of it, just do what you can. There is no competition here. You are working in your own space, in your own homes. And palms together, forward bend, tugging the neck. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, tuck in the neck. Left leg back, right leg back. High plank, tricep push up. Upward facing dog, downward facing dog. And breathe. Breathing in, breathing out. Breathing in. Breathing out. One more round of that same sequence. Lean forward on your hands. Step the right foot forward. Pivot the back foot in warrior. Sink down nice and deep. Shoulders nice and wide. Reverse the warrior. Palm facing up. Reach forward. Come up. For three, two, one. Side angle. You're doing so well. Reaching the hands. For three, two, one. One, touch down, left hand. Inhale, lift up the right. For three, two, one. Take the hands to the front. Take them one foot away from your front leg. Step the back leg forward. Lean forward, belly button pulled in. Lift up that leg first. Get your balance. And then slowly bring one hand up to your ankle, your calf, and the other. Holding it for three. Two, one, bring that leg forward into chair. Sitting down for three, two, one. Palms together, forward bend, tuck the neck in. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, tuck the neck in. Right leg back, left leg back. High plank, tricep push up. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog, beautiful. Then we're going to exhale, bring the knees down. We're going to inhale, look up. Exhale, look down. Inhale, look up. Exhale, look down. Neutralize your spine. Take your left leg out. Squeeze and change. Pull that belly button in. Squeeze and change. Opposite hand, opposite leg. Squeeze and change, squeeze and change. Next one, hold it out, 
bend the foot, grab hold of that opposite foot, the opposite hand, and lean back, look back for three, two, one. Bring it back down and reach. Change sides. That's it, you're doing so well. For three, two, one. Gently release. We're going to come back into downward facing dog. And then we're going to walk our hands back to our feet. And then roll up one vertebra at a time. Beautiful, you're doing so well. So we're going to do a bow, okay? So we did a bow on all fours. Now we're going to do a bow standing up. So standing with your feet together, bring your left hand out to the side. Bend the left foot, grab it. Bring both knees together. Inhale, lift up your right hand. Lift up to the ceiling, exhale, kick back. Reach your front foot, left hand forward and kick back, kick back, kick back. Hold it for three, two, one. And then gently release. Beautiful. You're doing so well. Change sides. Let me do it this side so you can see. Hand, palm facing away. Lean over onto the opposite leg. Pull the belly button in. Grab hold of the foot. Bring the knees in line together. Hand up to the ceiling. Reach up. Exhale, kick. Kick, 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 kick. Hold for three, two, one. And then gently release. Shall we do that one more time? Okay, I'm just turning around so you can see. <sighs> Hand out to the side, belly button pulled in, bend the leg, grab hold of the foot, palm facing away from you, yeah? Knees together, inhale, lift up the right hand, reach up and then extend that right hand to the front wall in front of you. Reach, 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 reach. And the foot will automatically come up. And you're kicking that foot away. That's it. Hold it for three, two, one. Gently release. Let's do the other side. <sighs> Taking a couple of deep breaths in, a couple of deep breaths out. And place your hand on your hip if that gives you a bit more stability. Palm facing away, bend the leg, grab hold of the foot. Knees are in one line. Ooh, ooh. Inhale, lift up the leg and um, the arm. Reach up and kick, 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 kick. Hold it for three, two, one. Gently release. Beautiful, guys. That was wonderful. So we're still staying on the theme of balance. I'll show you the next one we're going to do. We're going to lift up like this. And then we're going to go like that. Okay? Shall I talk you through it? So, <coughs> standing nice and tall, belly button pulled in. Lean over onto your left leg. Bring your left hand on your left hip. Slightly pick up your right foot. Bring both hands on to the knee. See if you can pull that knee in. Once you've got that stability, you bring the one hand onto your hip and one hand to open up the knee. And then if you want to, you can turn your head away. For three, two, one. And we'll do the other side. You are doing so well. Just stay with me. Lifting up the left foot, bringing that knee in. Keep that right leg nice and straight if you can. Shoulders down. And then we're going to hold that knee, bring that left right hand to the hip, open up, and then turn your head away. And if you want to, you can bring your hand out for three, two, one. 
and then gently release. So we're going to do one more balancing sequence and then we're going to come back onto the mat and bring it back down. So we're doing the classic tree. So standing nice and tall, tall on the mat. Lean over onto your left leg, pull in your belly button. Find one point of focus in front of you. Lean over onto your left foot. Slowly pick up your right foot and then bring that right foot to the inside of your left thigh. Pushing it in, then bring your hands to prayer. And then bring your hands up. And breathe for three, two, one. Gently bring the hands down and the foot down. Pull the belly button in. Lean over onto your right leg. Pick up your left. We're bringing it in. That's it. And then hands to prayer. Lengthen your spine. Lift up your hands if you want. And then slowly bring the hands back and bring the foot back. Walk it out left, right, left, right. Beautiful, guys. You did so well. We're going to sit cross legged. We're just going to do our final little cool down. So we're sitting cross-legged. The front heel doesn't touch the back shin. Now walk your fingers forward. You did so well today. Let me know how you went with this class. Something a bit new. And remember, don't forget to let me know if there's any requests you want me to do. Yeah? Because I'm here to serve you. And I can mix it around. I can change it up with the Pilates, with the yoga. And if you want something a bit different, I'm happy to, you know, do that too. So don't be shy. Please ask. This balance class was requested, so I hope you've enjoyed it. So walk your hands back. So in yoga, we're not just working our physical bodies by creating stretching and touching your toes or how high you can kick your leg. It's about working your internal organs as well. It's about being in the present moment, being in the flow of the movement. So it's almost a, it becomes a moving meditation. Because when we're doing all these poses, when we're in the zone, in the moment, in the pose, Things just move effortlessly. And if so our minds are wandering here, there, everywhere, it becomes harder and we start having this tug of war. I need to be somewhere, but I want to be here. I've got to tick this off the list of things to do. So it's really important to be present and try to create that presence in your practice. And if you haven't got 45 minutes, do a 10 minute class, but do something. And I can guarantee you in a year's time, you will thank me. And when I first started my yoga journey in 2003, so bring your soles of your feet together. In 2003, I had no idea that I would be doing this. I don't know, 18 years later, and what a big impact it has had on my mind and my body. And I don't think I would have been able to have children at 42 and have the energy that I need to, to live the life I want now if I didn't practice on a regular, consistent basis. So it doesn't matter if you do 45 minutes, an hour and a half, 10 minutes, but do something four to five times a week, a little bit of something for yourself. It might even just be going for a walk if that's what you need. But our bodies need to move. We're designed in that way. And then once you start practicing, you'll start noticing how different foods affect your practice. 
like I know if I've had a couple of wines, it makes a difference the next day if I've, had, if I've had junk food, I can feel it in my body. So this is how it's going to help you build your relationship with your body. And then we're going to bring one foot back and we're going to have one foot in front of us and one foot behind us. We're going to place one hand next to our hips and we're going to lift up. We're going to push our hips forward so we're creating space here in the front of our hips. Breathing in, breathing out, breathing in, breathing out, and then coming back down, and inhale, lifting up. And then again, one more time. And then we're gonna add touching down onto the outer edge of the mat. For three, two, One, let's change sides. One foot in front, one foot behind. Hand next to your hip. Inhale, lift up, push your hips forward. And then come back down, beautiful. Inhale, lift, push your hips forward for three, two, one. And one more time. Lifting up, pushing forward for three, two, one. And let's add that touch down. Touching to the outer edge of the mat and coming back down. For three, two, and one. Beautiful. And we're going to let go of a tension we're holding on to here. So bring your hands on your shoulders, elbows close. Exhale down, inhale, lift. Exhale down, inhale, lift. Exhale down, inhale, lift. Bring your elbows together, lifting up this time and down. So you should feel a nice opening of your upper back. One more time, beautiful, I love this stretch and then back down. So interlock your fingers, really pull those shoulder blades apart, pulling the belly button into your spine, tucking your chin in, and then bringing the hands behind you, interlocking the fingers, push your chest forward, lift those arms up, and breathe. Opening up the chest, and then change sides, change the hand grip, Reaching forward, pulling the arm, shoulder blades apart, pulling the belly button in. And then again, making sure you've changed the hand grip, opening up the chest. And then we're going to lie down on our mats. We're going to give ourselves a spinal twist. So one leg long, one leg bent, interlock your fingers. Hug your knees in. So really pulling that knee into your armpit in, extending that leg which is on the mat. Rotate your foot one way. Rotate your foot the other way. Surrender on your mat. Stay connected to your breath. Stay present in the room. Just a few more minutes to go. These are the magic minutes. The magic minutes that we just surrender with our bodies, turn your head away, turn the knee away from your body, breathe. And if you want to bend that bottom leg, grab hold of the foot with your palm facing up, do so. And nice long deep breaths in, nice long deep breaths out. Long deep breaths in, long deep breaths out. And gently release, let's do the other side. Interlock your fingers, just change the hand grip. So we're starting to be aware that we're using our bodies, you know, equally left, right, left, right. We have one side more dominant than the other. Pull that knee in, extend that straight leg which is on the mat. Then rotate your foot one way. 
Rotate your foot the other way. Pull, pull, pull. And then bring the one knee over your body and extend, turn your head away. And again, you can bend that bottom leg. Twisting movements are great for your digestive system. And then gently come back, hug your knees in. Have a little rock one way. Have a little rock the other way. And then if there's any final stretch that you need, do that. And then I'm going to get ready for our meditation. So lying down on your mat. And take a nice big exhale. So the count of three, two, one. Inhale for the count of three, two, one. Surrendering on the mat. While you're lying on the mat, acknowledge your commitment to yourself. Acknowledge the discipline it took to be here. Thank yourself for coming, showing up on the mat. Take your breath, take your attention to your toes. You're relaxing your toes, you're relaxing your toes. Feeling any tingling sensation you may be feeling in the toes, see if you can feel it. Take your breath, take your attention to your calves, you're relaxing your calves, you're relaxing your calves. You're relaxing your shins, you're relaxing your shins. Take your breath, take your attention to your knees, you're relaxing your knees, you're relaxing your knees. Relax your thighs, relax your thighs. You're relaxing your hips, you're relaxing your hips. Take a big breath into your belly, relax your belly, relax your belly. Your lower backs relax, your lower backs relax. Take a big breath into your chest, you're relaxing your chest, you're relaxing your chest. Your upper back's relaxed, your upper back's relaxed. Relax all the fingers on your left hand. You're relaxing all the fingers on your right hand. Your forearms are relaxed, your forearms are relaxed. Relax your shoulders, relax your shoulders. The back of your necks relax, the back of your necks relax.
You're relaxing your jaw, your tongue, your lips. All relaxed. Your forehead's relaxed, your forehead's relaxed. Your whole body is nice and relaxed. And really give yourself permission to be here just for a few minutes of the day. For you to totally be here with yourself. So slowly, taking a couple of deep breaths, coming back into the room. And I'm just going to share something with you today. Rainbow colors of life. There are no such things as negative or positive feelings. We make them negative or positive by our reactions or acceptance of them. All feelings are part of a wonderful, ever-changing sensation of being alive. If we love all the different feelings, they become so many rainbow colors in life. All my feelings are a natural expression of life. Slowly start wiggling your toes, wiggling your fingers, turning your head left to right. And then whenever you're ready in your own time, slowly bending your knees and rolling over to your preferred side. Stay here for as long as you need. I thank you for your time and allowing me into your living room. I appreciate you and I look forward to sharing with you next time. Thank you.